the sequels and the years and honestly the decades almost, there's still an essence of competition, vehicle combat, stunt driving, a shooter, it's not a racer, um, and this set in this comic book, Twisted Metal, uh, almost like Twilight Zone meets Creep Show meets Freddy and Jason from Slasher Movies World, that heartbeat is as strong today as it ever was. And so when we call it Twisted Metal, it really is kind of like a, 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 a pl planting a flag in the ground and saying, you know, our heartbeat is still strong. Every, every time we start a Twisted Metal game, Scott and I are like, hey man, let's do realistic cars. And it's a disaster, mainly because, you know, this is more like fighter jets. So they happen to look like cars, but they're like fighter jets. You're doing a lot of jousting, and then when you're both on the offense, and then when you're on defense, you want to get the hell out of there really fast. We have a lot of new mechanics in the game that aren't on the modern driving controls, which will shift with the game as default. I'm stunned that people are actually playing because what we have right now is classic controls because as the guys who make Twisted Metal and who really are good at Twisted Metal, classic controls are the best. When we first had the Twisted Metal vision, it was. It was imagining stepping into that fantasy. I want to be in a car chase, going down the freeway. I want semi-trucks flipping and crashing. I want to be in a helicopter with a sniper rifle and a bazooka shooting down, watching that semi-truck boom in the air as you race through the explosion. And so that's what we start with. Every iteration of hardware that we make a Twisted Metal on, we get to get closer and closer to that vision. And so helicopters really came from, ooh, we can do helicopters now on PS3 and integrate them into online. We can do semi-trucks that you can team up and drive into the backs of semi-trucks and man turrets, oh my God. And then frankly, that's us being bad designers. Then we're like, we got to figure out How's that gonna work? You are the car, like every Twisted Metal. You now see your driver more, you see your gunner a lot more. It's the driver and their gunner are basically the way that we show off the weapon articulations. So instead, we do have weapons that still come out of panels and things like that, but we also felt, you know, it's kind of fun and kind of cinematic to have a guy lean out the window of a sports car with a shotgun and do a drive-by. It just feels more, relevant and cool and movie-like, and that was such an inspiration. There's these great movie moments and, and car chase movies. So that's what that is. It's not really a different mechanic. It's just a presentation thing. You do not have to play co-op. You do not have to work with a team. There are free-for-all modes. There are surface modes like straight-up deathmatch or even team deathmatch where you're like, dude, I don't want to coordinate. I don't like talking on the headset. I feel embarrassed or I don't like it. I don't like headset games, absolutely. So here's what we know, and here's what we're so excited about. Those players are served, and they're served whether you're talking split screen local on the couch, or whether you're talking going out to the world and playing Twisted Metal. But we also do have those modes that are deep and rich and team-based to guarantee that players who, like me, want that as well as the free-for-all stuff, we have all of them covered. So I, I, it's just awesome. I love this world. I love Sweet Tooth and this dark world, and I think the movies are coming out so cool. I was so worried about how they would come out, and as I see them coming to life, I'm like, um, I, I want people to fall in love with this world as much as we are, as in this dark, twisted comic book weird world. On the gameplay side, though, Twisted Metal is a fighting game. It's a fighting game meets a shooter. It's Mortal Kombat, it's Street Fighter 4, just as much as it's Mario Kart Battle Mode. And I want people to basically discover what we already know and that hardcore Twisted Metal fans have known for a long time, that is, this is a great surface game, it's a great party game, it's a great pick up and play game, but there is a lot of layers and a lot of depth and levels underneath that pick up and play that really to us puts this in the same league as those great classic multiplayer games that really build a community for years and years and years out.